Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of In the Studio. I'm your host, Lynn Weaver. Well, something very exciting is happening in Davis these days. The Davis chapter of the League of Women Voters is back. After five years of declining membership, which prompted its uh, disband, a number of very concerned and dedicated citizens of Davis decided to bring it back. As many of you may know, it was founded in 1920 uh, to support mainly the suffrage uh, of women's rights. And the interesting fact is that this uh, 1920, uh, the founding of this league was uh, just six months before the 19th Amendment to the United States Constitution gave women the right to vote. Now, in 1973, the charter of the National League of Women Voters was modified to include men. And uh, one of the things that is very important to be said is that officially the National League of Women Voters is a non-partisan organization, and which means that it neither supports nor opposes any candidate or any party in this country. Well, I have here today uh, three wonderful guests. <laughs> uh, I have Mary Jo Bryan, the new Davis League acting president or director, president. Um, Bob Funk, the acting vice president of the league, and Georgina Valencia, the acting secretary. Welcome all, and thank, thank you, you for being thank here. You. Thank you. Now, I'm going to start with a couple of questions. The obvious one is, and Mary Jo, if you could answer that, what is the principal goal of this revival and why do you think it's very necessary to have a Davis chapter of the League? Well, thank you very much for, for doing this because yeah. I think that um, all, all of us feel the importance and what we've discovered is that there's a great feeling of importance throughout this community to restore this, uh, the League of Women Voters. Yeah back to Davis. Yes. And uh, just to give a little bit of uh, a further history too, the league had been started back in 1959 as sort of the beginning of the onslaught of the city of Davis and what mm -hmm. it was becoming in a university town and was very active in planning and, and uh, voter education, all kinds of things, very strong and very strong and was like that for many years. So when, when, when 2014 came along, we had the leadership had really had they could not find new leadership to take it over, and so they did disband on that. But it, sometimes in having a hiatus like that, people see the importance of something and bring it back on a different level. Absolutely and true. And I think this yes. is what we're doing. Last year, when I was running for city council, I realized how difficult it was to get information out to the general public mm -hmm. with declining readership of papers mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and other you know, restricted sources and civ energy did a great job of trying to, to do that but name recognition wasn't there yes the league of Women voters has a great name recognition for voter service nonpartisanship study research taking positions on various issues that they have decided to take a position on and with all that in mind when I started talking to people um, I can't believe that the cadre of people that I have working with me is incredible. Yes. So I'm willing to take this on and I'm so thrilled that, that we are doing this and that um, we're doing it with men are in. Yes. And, we have <laughs> <laughs> and um, it's, yes. it's a wonderful organization. I've belonged to, to it since 1960. Yes, I was Nine. also so a 1969. member. 69. <laughs> 69. Yeah. I was also a member for many years mm -hmm. back in Massachusetts, mm -hmm. and uh, I always valued the uh, the incredible um, service that they do, and and their presence mm -hmm. is essential. Uh, not to mention in this uh, particular. Uh, 
climate, mm -hmm. political climate now with the uh, new election coming uh, yeah, we next have, year. We have very strong positions on a variety of issues on both the national, the state, and the local issues. So when you become a member of the League, you become a member of all three. Yes. And you can play a vital part in regards to that on your local level, on your state level, and with the National League. Well, it's very good to know. And uh, uh, Georgina reminded me a little while ago that uh, they still, you, you don't, you will soon have a website because you net, you are still in the process of being registered. Isn't that right? That's, that's absolutely right. Lynn. Yes. We um, actually had our first meeting on May 29th, which is not that long ago. No. <laughs> and our second meeting on June 25th. And I'm happy to say both meetings, they were organizational meetings. And that's how you start this process. They have 15 steps that you know you, you um, take off the, the website from the California State League. And we've made it to step seven. And that's where you put a package together of your governing documents and applications that have come in and um, you know create those documents and send it into the league itself the the state mm -hmm. league which mm -hmm. we did that on July 10th and they'll be reviewing it um, before the board on August 3rd and we hope at our August 7th meeting to announce that uh, we Official. get the yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly 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 well that's wonderful mm -hmm. but in the meantime you can go to another website, and I'll right. come to Bob, right. uh, who is the founder of Civic Civ Energy. Right. And and uh, can you, Bob, can you explain a little bit um, how your uh, organization integrates uh, or fits in with the uh, League of Women Voters? Sure. Service? Sure. And of course, you are the vice president. Right. So Yes. So, um, Civ Energy, uh, I founded it at, uh, in about 2014, mm -hmm. and there was an election, a city council election, and I worked with the league before they disbanded in order to take the forum, the city council forum that they did, and to put it on the internet so that people didn't have to be at the forum. They could, um, they could watch bits of the forum uh, remotely. The, remotely. Oh, um, that's wonderful. And yes. that was my plan all along to work with the League of Women Voters that, that the League would uh, do in-person forums and the uh, Civ Energy would uh, do the online discussions, uh, continue discussions before and after the forum. And your technical background certainly is very handy yeah. uh, for uh, the League and right. for everybody, actually. Yes, it's so, true. Yeah. So after the League disbanded, uh, Civ Energy not only did the, um, the online discussions, but we have been putting on forums. We put on a forum uh, when Mary Jo was running for City Council in 2018. Mm -hmm. um, and it was a very successful forum. We had over around 300 people at yeah. the Davis Community Church mm -hmm. there. And so I, I would, you know, uh, connecting Civ Energy with the League of Women Voters is sort of putting the uh, online discussion uh, together with the traditional in-person forums and the other things that the League does, uh, voter registration, analysis of issues, all those are Well, we'll that be sounds wonderful. With. So you're adding a new uh, 21st century dimension That's to right. the League, yeah. Yeah. which is in somewhat a uh, bit of a goal mm -hmm. of, of Mary Jo mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. all of you, the mm -hmm. leaderships, to mm -hmm. bring this uh, chapter right. uh, to, to the uh, 21st century, as I said. Uh, well, uh, the uh, the um, website of Civ Energy is very very easy, and it will display on our screen. Uh -huh. It's www.civenergy.org. Right. Yes. That's right. And uh, and you can be reached, I, I, I imagine, uh, yes. at at your website. Yes. For any questions, mm -hmm. right. uh, and then of course you will probably announce when the uh, league. Uh, website will come into being. That's right. right. Yes. yes. Well, this is wonderful. I I wanted to um, um, I want I wanted to ask Georgina uh, how your work. You are uh, a member or the chair, I believe, of yes. the uh, City uh, Social Services Commission. I am. And so, of course, it seems obvious to me, but maybe not to everybody. How does your work? Uh, for the city, for the commission, um, fits in with the work you are 
planning to do. Yeah. Right. Well, I, I think it's really trying to understand what the issues are in the community, what, what you know, the public concern is. Um, for instance, um, there was a survey done recently um, that the city uh, asked a consultant to do, and one of the top issues of that was um, housing affordability. And that is one of the mission uh, statements, if you will, for the Social Services Commission. So yes. we meet on that and we talk on that. Mm -hmm. In fact, we had a very robust meeting on this last Monday evening in regards to housing and our housing policies here in the community. So, you know, that's one of the pieces, if you will, that, yes. that fits really well. Yes. And um, so it, it just seems that I'm on the Social Services Commission and it just makes sense for me to be a part of the League of Women Voters. But I'd like to add one thing too, yes. and that's really to commend Mary Jo, because she's the person that really kind of connected us all together. And honestly, if I hadn't run into her on the street and she looked me right in the eye and said, you know, I want to start the League of Women Voters. And I said, I can't believe there isn't one in Davis, yes. you know, because it's such a Davis thing. It's a Davis ethos to really be involved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, so she's really the, the firebrand well, behind oh. it all. Mary, Mary Jo has a long, long, um, history of volunteering in <laughs> yeah. Davis and doing fantastic things for the community. So thank you. Oh, and this is a, just a very creative idea that well, other people should have thought of, yeah. but nobody did. <laughs> Democracy is a part of a participatory uh, sport. Yes. And we have yes. to get people involved. Yes. And when, the, when that, uh, that survey came out, you yes. saw that from people, but there were things in it that people need to learn about, the process, well, how it happens, oh, yes. how to participate, and that's what the League yes. can be a, yeah. do. And yes. with the help of Civ Energy, we've got a much, yes. much broader way of contacting people, and I think that's so I, important. I think you're absolutely right, and it always amazes me how little people, especially young people yeah. now, uh, how little they know about the process of uh, voting mm -hmm. and participating in political discourse and uh, mm -hmm. all these things that are essential mm -hmm. and they're not mm -hmm. really mm -hmm. taught in school mm -hmm. and even at university unless you are in, in political science or something mm -hmm. or not mm -hmm. and it's a must for our democracy it and must. so but I wanted to ask and this time I'm going to ask each of you so you can start you can choose who's going to start um, what are the challenges of currently faces uh, the league in our region and perhaps nationally as well and choose one or two I mean there are many challenges <laughs> I, I can so, start okay good so uh, in our first meeting, uh, Gloria Partida, the mayor pro tem, came to the meeting. And uh, her, when uh, she came up to the front to, uh, to give a little uh, discussion point, and her discussion point was on the fact that she thought that uh, the league in Davis and in the state and nationally needed to be much more uh, diverse. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, if you look at the, um, uh, you know, the population, there we we, the the league needs more men. And it needs more younger people. Yes. It needs more people of color, yeah. and we encourage uh, uh, everybody to come to our meetings and to participate. Yes. Well, who's next? Yeah, I think the there's some uh, goals that I'll say are not maybe um, at a higher level, but for us because we're at such early stages, our, one of our biggest goals is really membership. Yes. And and diversity is obviously very important, but we also need to get members and our outreach for those members. Um, we're doing it in various ways. I mean, this is a great format, and we really yes. appreciate yeah. your interviewing yes. us today because um, I believe that helps us too. But we've you know been working with the Davis Enterprise, Davis Vanguard. Um, any way that we can to let the community know that um, we're here mm -hmm. and we're coming back and we need their support. Yeah. So yeah. It's essential and uh, I was going to ask you that in my next question. Okay. Yes, I also i am planning to have you back in a oh, few months so we can uh, yeah. mark the uh -huh. progress, uh -huh. you know, and uh, outreach is so difficult uh, because everybody's saturated with mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. Mary Jo. Oh, I'll take a little different thing. So, yeah. yes, yes. I mean, it's, it's basically is understanding the league process and yes. its nonpartisanship. Yes. It is not, I mean, it takes positions on issues. So we have a housing issue, an air quality issue. And so, and we will lobby for those. We will never take a position, yeah. as we mentioned, on a candidate, a candidate or, or a party. party. 
Um, and that's very important. But in that process, you have to do some research and study. Yes. And sometimes for we are, um, uh, people feel that we are too slow to act. But I can tell you, I have been in the league since, like I said, 1969, 1970, and I went reviewed the net, our local positions from that were put together back in 1995 and updated, and they are relevant today, oh. very, very much so. They need to be tweaked. They need to be active. They maybe needed to be rounded out into, but yeah. they are they're on right on course. And I just think it's important that you have the background of knowledge and research behind you before mm -hmm. you go forward, yes. because I think we've all learned how complicated situations are, funding, yes. all these kinds of things. And yes. So that's well, and of course you have to prioritize. But mm -hmm. I'm so happy you mentioned uh, that, uh, you know, the issues mm -hmm. and not the people, mm -hmm. especially nowadays. It's all about personalities and people. And the issues are all that matters whether you are, uh, you know, Republican, Democrat, uh, I don't know, Mr. Smith or Mrs. Goody, you know, it doesn't matter. And I think that young people need to understand that mm -hmm. in this mm -hmm. uh, in this culture mm -hmm. of memes mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, icons. There is one last question because I'm, I'm afraid we're running out of time. It's amazing how 15 minutes go very fast when things are very important. Um, I, I wanted to ask you, um, basically you've already answered all that, but um, Georgina mentioned outreach. Mm -hmm. Obviously you want to expand participation mm -hmm. and include young people, minorities and men and so on. Uh, do you have, are you working on a strategy to do that? Well, I, I'm hesitant to say too much right at this point. We are. So yes. the, the answer Good. is yes, Good. we are. Yes. And um, one of the things that we're doing that's a little bit different from the original uh, Davis chapter is it was really about Davis. And yes. what we're looking at is Yellow County. And we believe that that will help bring us more diversity, too. I agree. Too. Mm -hmm. So yes. that's yes. one of our strategies. Yes. Um, but there's others. I'll just, we'll wait next yes. time you Absolutely. have us. Absolutely. I'm glad that you're thinking of uh -huh. this. And I noticed that there is a woodland chapter. There, there is a woodland chapter. And I was wondering whether you could, uh, you know, combine your strengths in some... Um, We've yeah. actually talked about yeah. that and met mm -hmm. with them and gone to yeah. their annual meeting. Mm -hmm. Good. And they're very Good. receptive. Good. And perhaps there's one in Sacramento. Who knows? Yes. Though there is. But yes. I'm... There is, yes. There's, but not West Sacramento and not Dixon. I mean, not Winters. And yes. Not Esparto and not, you know. Right. So there's definitely places that could use the outreach and the, what, the, what yeah. we do. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and sort of uh, mm -hmm. help one another. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm afraid our time is up. Yeah. It's terrible. So thank you so much. Uh, my heartfelt thank you and appreciation for what you do for the community. Bob Fung the vice president of the Davis chapter of the women, uh, the League of Women Voters. Thank you, Lynn. Georgina, the uh, secretary of uh, the acting secretary, yes. no yes. longer acting in a few weeks, I'm sure, oh. <laughs> of you. the League, and Mary Jo, the acting president. Yes. Thank you so much. And again, go to Civ Energy website to find out more about what Bob and his organization do. And for thank you all of you for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this episode, you can always uh, watch it again by streaming it at dctv.davismedia.org. And while you're there, you can look at some of the other shows that we have. We have incredible guests and very interesting topics. So once again, thank you for watching and see you next time.